Like most farmers in Moiben in the county of Wasingishu, Anne Murray has been planting maize. But four years ago, just as the wind to host tune the leaves move, she opted for change. Kama mwaka u, niliusa eh, kunia nane, nilikuwa na kumi na likini nilipakisa mbili kwa, cha, kwa sababu ya chakula. The cereal currently grows on almost an acre of land. However, the benefits and promise of the finger millet points on to a change in acreage, especially in light of the challenges maize farming went through earlier in the year. And miles away in Geria, also in Wasingishu, another farmer Alice Moimet goes about weeding her crop. She also has praises for finger millet cultivation. Aina kazi mingi. Unapalilia marambili na unasahau. Unangoja hii, 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 hive, ha, uvune kwa shamba, alafu unani kazi kauke vizuri, unaweka kwa sto. Alice supplies her finger millet to schools at a cost of around 9,000 shillings per 90 kilogram bag. Weed control is often done manually since finger millet is closely spaced. Therefore, a hoe or jembe might not yield the desired results. Tuna advise wakulima wetu eh, watumia herbicide in case chamba ni kubwa. This shift from maize is a trend which experts hope can be replicated elsewhere to help in diversification which will lead to improved food security. With unpredictable weather patterns and emergence of new pests that prefer attacking maize, farmers are advised to shift focus and venture into indigenous crops. Gabriel Kudaka, NTV, Eldoret.